All right, moving on, we got a new car. Now we have a car that we, so let's see what we got for our time. Our times are up here, all right, and now they're going time zero is over there. So we have time zero seconds. The position is actually 10 meters. Time of one second, the position is eight meters. Two seconds is going to be six meters. Three seconds, four meters. Four seconds is going to be two meters, and uh, zero sec, I'm sorry, and five seconds is going to be zero meters. All right, so we finished the data table. Now let's plot it out and create a line of best fit. So we are going to go with first at zero seconds. So here's my zero, zero right down there. Okay, so we are going to look and say, all right, um, Time of zero seconds, my position is all the way up here at 10. All right, time of one second, it's to eight. Right there. Time of two seconds, it's to six. Three seconds is to four. Four seconds is gonna be a position of two meters. And at five seconds, it's a position of zero meters. Okay, there we go. So we plotted it out. Let's get our line of best fit. Let's take a graph here, our ruler, and get that going through a line of best fit. Maybe a little better like that. All right, right about there. Okay. And let's go with some kind of different color there. Here's our line of best fit. Boom. Okay. So there's a line of best fit. Um, let's figure out our slope. So our slope is always, as always, we're going to do y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Our y2 is gonna be this point here, okay? Our y1 is that point. So y2 is going to be zero meters. y1 was 10 meters, okay? x2 is still five seconds x1 is still going to be zero seconds, okay? All right, so we subtract it out. I'll just do regular colors now. That one's getting a little harder to read. So we have zero minus 10, which is a negative 10 meters, and five minus zero is five seconds. We do our math, we divide that out, and we still get a, sl or we get a slope that's going to be negative two meters per second. Okay, so we get a negative two meters per second there. That's interesting, you get a negative slope, right? So I wonder what that means. Uh, what about our y-intercept? Our y-intercept starts up here at, at zero seconds, it's at 10, so our y-intercept is going to be 10, whoops, got a little messy there, 10 meters. Okay. So, let's look at slope of car D, which we're doing, and the slope of car A. Well, we got a slope of car A, it's found over here. What was our, our, our slope for car A? Our slope for car A was two meters per second. Okay, that's what we got for slope, uh, there, here it is up here. Slope for car A was two meters per second, positive two meters per second. Well, for car B, we got a negative two meters per second. So, same numbers, but negative to each other, right? 